Chinatown, it holds us together. That means the uh, responsibility to look after your parents as much as you look after your children. It's consideration for you know what went on before you as well as what will come after you. My father and my grandfather's generation built the railroads and the laundries and dug the uh, coal mines. Everybody's aspiration was going to go to the gold mountain and get rich. I'm no exception, I guess. <laughs> A lot of the Chinese first came over as part of the gold rush. They saw that coming to San Francisco, you know, there was a chance to earn money and to get educated. There's a big part of me that's the Chinese-American background that I have. Growing up there in Chinatown provided my parents with everything they needed to be successful and to raise a family. I've watched San Francisco change, and Chinatown is definitely different, but I think it still serves that purpose for helping immigrants adjust to American society. People here in America, you know, think Chinatown is very poor. As a kid, when people would go, like, oh, where do you live? I didn't want to say I lived in Chinatown. And it wasn't up until high school that I became proud because I learned the history of what our community did to stay where we are today through hard-fought fights. It made me realize that I want to also do the same. I want to also advocate for my own community. Everybody that's come through Chinatown had a dream or has a dream. Maybe it's because that's what I've seen my entire life is watching my dad's generation, my grandparents' generation, just working really hard to have a better future for their next generations. This is an integrated living community where people want to live. It's not a museum. The importance of Chinatown is really to serve the immigrant population and to be there for the people who want to use it. We all love Chinatown so much that we would fight to like make sure we keep Chinatown and make sure Chinatown survives. <laughs> <laughs> 